Hey, hey, welcome back to the city set, everyone. So, we are over here at my parents. You remember the monolithic dome? Oh yeah. So I thought I'd give you guys a little update about what they've been doing over here on their property. Because I know a lot of people came because they're very interested in this uh, monolithic dome and what they're eventually going to do with it. Uh, it, works, it works pretty good. <laughs> Here go the kids. <laughs> the biggest two around the four wheeler with grandma. So they had a little bit of misfortune. Can you guys see right here? Man, a window blew out in the, uh, the monolithic dome. A double pane window just blew out. They don't know why. There's no, like, no footprints or nothing. Nobody's been in and out of here. It just literally broke apart. That's some of what's left. They just came over here and it was shattered out and it's made a big mess. So that's kind of uh, interesting to, to see, man. But when we were talking about cost, about this monolithic dome, that's one more cost to have this thing fixed. Now you gotta fix that. Whoops. <laughs> Plus, I don't know if you guys can see around this door. There's some fun finished parts around this door. You know, there's quite a lot of work that still needs to be done on this uh, dome if they ever want to move into it as a house. That's why we made the joke about making it a giant chicken coop. <laughs> because the amount of money that would go into it, I don't know if you could recuperate and save over the same amount of time if you just had a regular old house. Oh, flag them down. really preventing grandma from getting any work done. <laughs> so it's really hard to get a good picture of what's going on in here. But I thought I could show you guys to see the uh, ceiling up there. It's really rough. Hasn't been smoothed out or anything. They did a little bit of applying some smooth stuff on the walls to try to smooth that out. But I don't know, can you see? Yeah, they got some four wheelers and table in here. But it's all dirt, dirt floors. There's nothing really started as far as the inside of this thing goes. This is, you know, all reasons we joked about it becoming a giant chicken coop one day because there's just a lot of work that needs to be done to make it a livable place. And being that we're in Michigan, like there are some benefits to the monolithic dome, but we don't have a lot of severe weather that this would really protect against. So, you know, investing a lot of money back into it, I don't know, it's still, to me, it's questionable on whether or not it's worth it or not. Worth it or just build something that's livable in a shorter amount of time. Plus, I imagine it's hard to find builders that actually know a lot about this stuff. The unfinished outsides, there's, I mean, it's, it's practically just a shell and would really, the whole thing just needs to be done and worked on. So I don't know how it's going to go, what they're going to do with it. They're still iffy about their plans for it, but maybe this summer they'll actually decide what they're going to do with it since they're getting ready to try to move over here. They're going to retire on this property that they have. Right now they live, whoops, oh. So right now they live around the corner a little bit on a few acres and like I said before, they have like 85 acres over here. So this is their goal is to end up retiring here. And we'll see what they end up doing with that place. I'm still interested. I'm kind of in the camp of, I would just build a, a smaller house because it's just going to be the two of them. Because I think for their money, they could, they could invest their money differently on the rest of the property as opposed to spending it all on fixing that dome up. So we're not gonna get real close because I got the little guy with me, but they have started keeping bees, guys. Now, last year they had originally tried to do it and they had a swarming issue. They just weren't here enough, I guess, and they ended up taking off on them. But this year, they're looking really good. Let's see if I can hold you far enough away. So that's the little hive over there. Looks like they got 
brood box and a super on there. So they're doing pretty good this year. You can see uh, not quite out on the front as much as they were earlier, but they were out there on the front hanging out, sunning themselves a lot. Now they're kind of, it's cooling down a little bit, so they're inside the box more. <laughs> you look super tired, buddy. Are you tired? <laughs> so let's see if we can get uh, the camera to go a little closer to the uh, the first bee have. Pretty awesome stuff to see the, the hive actually thriving this year and doing really good for them. We were thinking about what we were going to do with our hive because we wanted to start one this year. It's not in the books for us anymore. It's just, it's not going to be able to, it just can't work. It's not going to work financially, uh, time wise. It just, we couldn't get to it early enough. So we're not going to start keeping bees this year, but we were tossing up the ideal of putting our hive next to theirs to kind of help out this property while we learned a little more about bees before we brought them to our actual urban homestead, you know, the city stead there. So uh, maybe we still will next year, but it's, it's really encouraging to me to see that their hive is doing really good. So up on this hill, you can see my mom's been doing a lot of grass mowing. She's got a lot of stuff they're working on, trying to make some better land because right now it's just a lot of overgrown weeds on most of this property this is actually one of my favorite areas right over here on the other side of the driveway a nice flat area it's right next to this little pond which is hard to see right now because there's a little bit of tall grass there but my dad has told me that I can do whatever I want over here and I've kind of been eyeballing that area back there for some kind of permaculture type orchard so now it's a matter of time and uh, obviously money because you need money to buy a bunch of fruit trees to plant. So I am going to start working on figuring out what we can do and how we're going to do it because I would really, really love to be able to start something over here and use some of the resources of this land that my parents have that they've offered to us to help us grow into more of the self-sufficient that we want to be and just in general having more fruit because who doesn't like more fruit? <laughs> so you guys want to see more about what they're doing? All right, they've been doing a ton of work. It's mostly my mom. She's over here like every single day working. My dad works on the weekends when he's not at his regular job. And they're actually thinking about turning this into a hobby farm. So they have a name. They are the Backwoods Farm. And that's because the front of the property is all open flat land and the back of it is all woods. So they've been working on that. They, I think they already got the LCC or, or I can't remember what they got. I know they've already registered the name and everything. Oh, there they go. <laughs> The kids absolutely love riding the four-wheeler with grandma. The older two. This little guy, not so much. <laughs> so you can see behind me this garden over here. My mom's been working on this quite a bit. So this garden area over here, and it actually extends back there some, was actually the original garden that the owners of the uh, dome had set up. And it's been overgrown because it hasn't been taken care of in a couple years. So my mom actually just went through and did her own herb garden here. Looks really nice, she laid down all the wood chips, a lot of herbs, things already eaten though, because there's a lot of wildlife out here. But this garden area has a really nice structure to it once it's cleaned out and fixed up. It's a little cement walkway all the way across to the bottom there. There's a big bed over here that's just overgrown. They actually have all these little cement pillars that you could you know, build a fence with. And they had these cool mushrooms, you can see them in the background over there. These really cool mushrooms they had that were already here. So my mom's been working on painting them and taking care of them. A nice little tree over here in the garden. Give some shade area. So it's a really, really nice little setup. Maybe we can do one of these things where we stand right here in the middle. And give you a little panoramic view of the little garden area they had. So pretty cool. I like it. It's a really neat setup. My mom's been doing some good work over here on getting the uh, some of this garden tamed and under control. <laughs>
So over here they had a couple raised beds and my mom cleaned those all out. She's planting some perennial stuff in there. She's got strawberries and blueberries mixed in together. And they were really nice raised beds. I thought they were pretty well constructed. And you can see them back here, there you go. So they've been planting blueberries and strawberries in there. <laughs> I believe she also planted some kale and stuff inside this bed over here. So all sorts of little stuff, they're trying to work on growing some stuff. Oh, this is what we were getting ready for. My uh, parents were getting ready to bring the camper over here. You can see him pulling up in the back here. That's my dad in the camper. <laughs> so they're gonna get that hooked up. and uh, They like to stay in that over here when they're over here. So they've been working on making this little kids area for the grandkids, which right now is just my kids because my brothers are complete slackers. Got a little rope back here for a little rope swing. I'm building a little fort over there. We got the seesaw up on the hill. And then you saw in here, earlier in the video, my uh, dad and my brother and I bringing these old steps over from the old uh, campsite over there by the by the dome, we brought them over here. They fit perfect, almost like they were meant to go there. And I believe they're, they're gonna put a slide right next to it. So I'm sure that would be super awesome and fun. <laughs> you coming through the bridge? What do you think of this thing? Is it cool? Do you wish there was more toys over here? <laughs> oh, careful. Dad, where's my camera? It's in the car. Oh. It's on your seat. Hi. Welcome to my house. Welcome to your house. You gonna take us on a tour? Show us around your house. Fourteen. My house is fourteen. My house is fourteen. Your house is fourteen? What'd you do to my son? Oh, nothing. I don't have a scraggly beard. He pinched him. I got the tattoos, but I don't have a scraggly beard. This is another one of my younger brothers. You guys haven't seen him yet. This is Dominic. How's it going? vlog. You officially made one. You officially yeah. made the first vlog. You know we've made 152 videos now, and you're just now getting into it. Into yeah. Into a vlog. I can't uh, believe it. Well, I, I've been contemplating doing my own log of uh, me playing kickball and volleyball and just being sweet at that. Yeah, nobody wants to see that. I'm, pre I'm pretty good at volleyball it's and kickball. Pretty lame. Everybody, uh, just tell him that's pretty lame. You don't want to see that. Uh, kickball game this Sunday. <laughs> All right. The 20. What is this Sunday? Nobody's gonna. I'm not loading this tonight. 29th. Sunday. I'm not, I'm not gonna upload this. 6:30 p.m. Uh, Riverside Park, Ann Arbor. They're probably gonna lose. Every Sunday. All right. Give me my. Between four and seven. seven. You're just breaking them. Riverside Park, Ann Arbor. I'll hit a dinger for you. What's the name of your guys' team? Uh, the Cat Natos. The Cat Natos. Kenny Cat Natos, named after. Uh, that's one of the employees at that's the t-shirt company. It's very interesting. The t-shirt yeah. company that nobody works at anymore. I used to work there, but <laughs> David still does. He's team captain. I'm <laughs> assistant captain. So. Oh. All right, congratulations. You made a vlog. You broke the baby. Good job. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> that didn't work. Say, Grandma, that did not work. This would be the perfect time for that branch to break right there. I came in like a wrecking ball. <laughs> <laughs> I 
here. And Dad says, I raised these guys. <laughs> oh, I'm getting this pin. Whoa, you're digging a pool? Yeah, I asked him to dig me a pool. You think it's going to be a deep pool? Yeah, maybe. All right, you got to pull it. Yep, now push it out. Push it out. There you go. Push it all the way. There you go. Did Grandma buy you something cool? Now pull together. Pull together. Together. Together, remember? Pull together. Now dump out. Pull over here. Pull together. Dump out. There you go. Or you can just get the shovel. You've got a hand <laughs> shovel here too. All right, well, as you guys can hear by all the noise and activity going on in the background, they are hard at work still. It's late at night. Our visit is over. That is a little bit of an update from the monolithic dome, the dome stead of my parents. So maybe we'll come back over here in another month or so and see how things are going and do another tour of the place. Do you want to say bye? Do you want to say bye? He's a little bit tired. Last son. We're out of here. City stead out. Ha, 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 ha,